The painting day. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Angel to a painting day. Willie came too. Are you having fun, Angel? I was excited. I liked painting. We painted lots. That is such a good picture. Do you need to go to the toilet, Tick? No, I said. I wanted to paint. Angel looked funny. She got paint on her nose. Your nose! Let me clean your nose. Let me see. And then I thought, I do want to go to the toilet. Hey, girls, come and have a look at what I've seen over here. Come on. But Mummy said, come and look at this. There was a man doing pictures of people. I'll hold Willie. The man did a picture of me and Angel. We had to sit very still. But I wanted to go to the toilet. Take, are you OK there? Do you need the toilet? No, I said. I was too excited about the man's picture. That's Angel. The man was very clever. Come here, come here, see it. Yes, yes, please. He made Angel and me look real. Girls, come with me. Wait, see this. Daddy said, come and look at this, Tig. I was so excited. I was hoping. Oh, I think you need the toilet. No, I said. I wanted to see the funny picture. Funny. A lady was going to stick our pictures on a wall. I jumped up and down. Are you sure you don't need the toilet? Yes! Do you want to go to the toilet? Mm, yes, I said. The toilets were big. There were lots of doors. Lots of basins. Oh! When the machines? I didn't like the toilets. I sat next to Angel and waited for the lady to stick up our paintings. I didn't want to go to the new, big, smelly toilets. Hey, Tig, you're right. You have to be happy going to the toilet. Sometimes new is strange, but you might find you like this new strange toilet more than you think. You just need to give it a go. It might smell funny, but that's because there are lots of different smelly things to clean toilets. It might have lots of doors, but that's because there are lots of toilets to choose from. It might have lots of basins, but that's because there are lots of hands to wash. Woo! It might have noisy dryer machines, but that can be fun too. Woo! They're just like a hairdryer stuck on the wall. In the end, we all need to go to the toilet wherever it is. And we all have to flush it before we leave. Unless it flushes itself, and that's even more fun! Whoosh! Oops! So go for it, Tig! Have fun exploring the new toilet! Yes, I thought. I wanted to go to the new big toilet. After the toilet, I washed my hands with lovely smelly squirty soap. Then I dried my hands with a hand dryer. The lady stuck up her pictures. When the lady saw Willie's picture, she got a fright. Oh, all the outdoor spiders! I love Willie. We beat guesses to Willie. Come on, let's go. <laughs> the dance class. Are you excited about going to your dance class? When I was little, my daddy took me to my dancing class. I'd never been to dance class before. You're going to the ballet class. Mummy bought me special clothes to wear. My dancing dress was pink. My dancing shoes were pink and soft. You look like a fairy tale princess. 
Right, let's go do the ballet class, come on. Off we went to the dancing class. Willie came too. Daddy took me to a big, big room. You're going to have fun, Tig. There you go, bye. See you later. OK. For those of you that are new, my name is Miss Lottie, and I hope you're going to try really hard to enjoy your dance classes and listen to everything that I say. Everybody spread out. That's Miss it. Lottie shouted. Music! Right Music, please, Mr Tonka. Mr Honky played the piano. We're going to be trees, OK? So Miss Lottie shouted, trees! Stretch up towards the ceiling. All right, and leaves. Miss Lottie shouted, leaves. Here and there. OK, lambs. Now I want you to skip around like baby lamb. Miss Lottie shouted, skip! I didn't like Miss Lottie shouting. Lambs, keep going. I didn't like Miss Lottie at all. Me and Willie sat beside Mr Honky and his piano. I didn't like dancing class. Hey Tig, I want to join in the dancing too. Come on! I don't like the shouted lady. Yes, you're right. When teachers shout, it does seem a bit scary. But Miss Lottie isn't shouting at you, Tig. She's shouting so we can all hear her. Whee! Miss Lottie sounds loud when you're close to her. All right, everybody, we're going to be frogs. Hey, Tig, did you hear that? She wants us to be frogs. I love being a frog. Hey, Tig, look at me being a frog. And crouch, and hop, and crouch, and hop. Ribbit, ribbit. Legs up into the air, bicycle time, and pedal. Pedal, 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 whee! Horses, right gallop and trip. Hey Tig, she wants us to be horses. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop, trot, 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 trot. Yeehaw! Phew, Tig, that was so much fun. I'm pooped. Your turn. But the shouting. Tig, Miss Lottie has to shout so you can hear what to do above the music. Then I thought, Mr Honky's piano is very loud and I don't mind that. Whee! To the side. So I don't mind Miss Lottie shouting. I joined in. I had such fun. I galloped. I was a snowflake. Now flap your arms and flap. A butterfly. I did kitty cat crawls. I skipped. At the end of the lesson. And stop. Miss Lottie said that I was going to wear the crown. I'd like to present this lovely crown to Tig. Today was Tig's first day. And became a fairy princess. Princess Tig. Lovely. I like Miss Lottie. I like dancing too. And I love Willie. We begin since we be. Swing Park. When I was little, my daddy took me to the swing park. Oh, we dropped Willy. Willy came too. On the way, Daddy kicked a ball. Oh, oh you got it! I kicked the ball too. <laughs> at the playground, we ran around looking at all the things we could play on. The slide was very tall. Three, two, one. Take it, Rolly! Yeah! <laughs> I bounced on the springy seesaw. Daddy bounced on the springy seesaw too. Daddy and me jumped on the trampoline. Willie jumped too. Night, night. 
round. I swung round and round in a basket. Lullaby, baby. Daddy swung in the basket too. Ah, oh, what shall I do? I swung in the ropes. Daddy showed me what to do. Daddy was so funny, he hung upside down. That's parts for children, you know. Oh, sorry. A man with a dog told Daddy that the playground was for children. Daddy said sorry. After the man with the dog, Daddy didn't do funny things. Then Daddy pointed. There's Angel, he said. Who's that over there on the seesaw? Angel! That's your friend. It was my friend Angel. Yeah, but then I saw Angel was playing with some other children. I didn't know them. I wanted Angels to play with me. Daddy said I should go and ask to join in. No, I said. I felt left out. Angel was playing with new friends and not me. Hey, Tig, you've always got me to play with. Watch me. Hey Tig, it would be fun to join in Angel's game. Are you worried she might say no? So, why not ask Angel and her friends to join in your game? And your game is sliding Wooly down the slide. Okay! Whee! Yeah! I said grabbed Wooly. Said to Angel, come and see Willie slide down the slide. Yeah, said Angel. We all slid Willie down the slide. Whee! Come on, one, three, two, one. Then we all ran off together. We pulled the bell ropes. Bang, bang, ting, well. Daddy found Willie. Ah! It's only my toy spider, I said. I love playing with my new friends. I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. Open wide. When I was little, my mummy took me to see the dentist. Willie came too. I made sure my teeth were really clean. Do you like going to the dentist? Yeah. yeah. Mummy said it was fun and the dentist was going to count my teeth. At the dentist, a nice lady sat behind a big desk. Hello, Tig, said the lady. That's the suckers that we've got, Tig. The lady said I would get a badge for having my teeth counted. We had to wait for the dentist. Lots of people were sitting on chairs. We sat next to a giggly lady. Can you show me how you brush your teeth? I showed the giggly lady how I cleaned my teeth. Oh, that's good. Mrs Kraken, do you want to come through? Oh. A lady asked Mrs Giggly, Come this way, please. Bye-bye, Mrs Giggly. Bye. One, two, three. In the corner of the room was a play shop. Me and some children played play shop. Four, five. I did lots of counting. I like the dentist. Her name was Rita. I've got some juice here that you need to gargle around your mouth and you spit in the bowl. So that washes your tooth and that dries your tooth. Rita showed me lots and lots of things. Things I'd never seen before. 
There's a slurpy sucker. A water shooter. Oh! Sunglasses. A polisher. It's a special, special fast electric toothbrush. But best of all was the chair. And then right up into the sky. The chair could go up and down and back and forward like a ride at the fun fair. Right, I'm going to count your teeth now. This is my tooth counter for counting your teeth. Open wide. Please. I shut my mouth. I didn't like the tooth counter. In a minute, she said. Rita chattered and clattered. Hey, Tig, there's nothing wrong with the tooth counter. It's just a magic wand to help Rita with her counting. You'll never know how many teeth you have until you open your mouth. Opening your mouth is as easy as yawning. <sighs> Opening your mouth is as easy as eating a plum. Opening your mouth is as easy as laughing. Ha 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 ha! Okay, I said. Uh, 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 uh. I'm just going to put my visor on. Okay, Tig, open wide for me and we can count these teeth. Open wide, said Rita. Open wide. Rita counted my teeth with her magic Whee! wand. 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. You've got 20 teeth in there. <gasps> it's only a toy spider. Now you get your sticker. Whee! Are you all done? She's very brave. The lady at the desk gave me my badge. And Willie has a stick. Of course he can. Oh, there you go. Well done. I wanted a badge for Willie too. I like the dentist. Willie likes the dentist too. I love Willie. Losing things. When I was little, Daddy and Mummy took me to the jungle house. One, two, I wore my favourite <laughs> wild animal clothes. My tiger woolly hat, monkey gloves and hissy snake scarf. Willie came too. I was very cold going to the jungle house. Inside the jungle house, the jungle was very hot. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's so warm in here. Look, look at all the glass. The jungle house was made of glass. There was a big palm tree in a pond with fishes. Tell you what, I think we need something to keep us going on our trek through the jungle. Mummy gave me some raisins. We saw a lady with no clothes. She is made of marble. Daddy said she was marbles. She didn't look like a marble to me. Daddy said the middle of the jungle smelt like fried socks. My head itched. Willie, where are you? Willie kept hiding in the trees. Is Willie in the jungle? Daddy said, careful not to lose Willie. I told Willie not to climb any more trees. <laughs> When we left the jungle house, it was cold again. We walked back through the park. After a bit, I got so cold, I couldn't walk. Where are your gloves? Where's your hat? Where's your scarf? Oh, no. Where's your hat, said Daddy. Well, let's get this scarf around you. Let's get you nice and warm. Where's your gloves, said Mummy. And where's your scarf? I don't know, I said. Back in the house, it was nice and warm. I was sad. I'd lost my favourite clothes. Tig, I'm so sad that you lost your hat and your gloves and your scarf. Such a shame. 
daddy made me feel more sad. Hey, Tig, I know how you feel. Losing things makes me feel sad too. Hey, Tig, maybe we could find your lost things. Take a deep breath and think back just to where you might have left things. First, we went to the jungle house. It was very hot. We looked at the fishes in the pond with the big palm tree. You took your monkey gloves off to eat the raisins. Then we saw the lady with no clothes. You took off your hissy snake scarf. In the middle of the jungle, it smelled like fried socks. Your head itched and you took off your tiger hat. There you see, now you can remember where you left everything. I thought very hard. I remembered everything. Mum, I got all my hats and stuff in the jungle house. Really? I told Mum and Daddy where my things were. Should I go back and get them? Daddy went back to the jungle house. He found my monkey gloves by the palm in the pond. My scarf by the lady with no clothes. My tiger hat in the middle of the jungle. Smell of fried socks. And Daddy told us how he found everything. Well, I found the hat, the scarf, mm -hmm. uh, and I also found the gloves. And it was because Tech knew where they were. <coughs> Daddy jumped. It's only my toy spider, I said. I'm glad I never lost Willy. I love Willy. We Sharing. When I was little, my friend Angel came to play. I like playing with Angel. She's fun. See you later. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. We played people. We played sliding. We played jumping on the cushions. We. I liked playing with Angel. She makes me laugh. Why don't you go and show Angel your room? Mummy said, Tig, why don't you show Angel your toys? I showed Angel all my toys. The orange came on fire. <laughs> I'm making soup. That's um, that's in the soup for baby's bowl. I didn't like Angel holding my doll. It wasn't Angel's doll. It was my doll. I didn't want Angel to play with my toys anymore. I put Willie to bed. I put all my toys in my little house. I want toys! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! We shouted, shouted, shouted! Shh! What's going on? I want to go home. Oh, of course you can, Angel. Let's go and ring your mum. Oh dear, said Mummy. That's sad you're going home so soon, Angel. Did Tig not want to share her toys? No. No, oh dear. And we went to ring Angel's Mummy. Oh dear. Hey Tig, it can be a bit funny seeing someone play with your toys. But Angel's your friend. Now she's gone. Tig, that's a big jumble of toys in there. That'll take some sorting. Shame there's no one to help. The good thing about sharing your toys 
is that your toys can suddenly become new and fun again. Maybe if you say a big, big sorry to Angel, she'll come back and play and you can have fun with your toys again. I didn't want Angel to go. She was my friend. I said sorry to Angel. Angel, I'm sorry. In a big, big way. I gave Angel Wooly to play with. <laughs> Angel said she would stay. Angel had really under Mummy's work. Here's a candy <laughs> It's only my toy spider, I said. <laughs> I like playing with Angel. We played and I shared my toys. <laughs> new toys again. I love Wooly. We've been together since we were three. Timmy's Monsters. When I was little, my friend Timmy came to play. Timmy can draw monsters. I can draw monsters too, but they're not as scary as Timmy's monsters. Timmy can roar like a monster. Roar! <laughs> I can roar like a monster too. <sighs> I like monsters. I like Timmy's monsters. Bulgy monsters. Hairy monsters. Blue monsters. <laughs> That's scary. And lots of red monsters. I'm stomping and roaring. I think if the monsters were a little quieter, they might have some juice. I love monsters. When it was time for Timmy to go home, he gave me lots of his monsters. Thank you, Timmy. I love Timmy's monsters. And night, night time. At night time, I put Timmy's monsters under my bed. At night, the monsters roared! Rah, rah, rah! All right. The monsters woke me up! Oh, there are no monsters. They're just pictures, look. Mummy said the monsters were just pictures. No more monsters. <laughs> Mummy took Timmy's monsters away. Will they want to be cuddle? Good girl. And left the light on. I cuddled Willie. The next day I wanted to play monsters. But Mummy had thrown the monsters in the bin. I asked Mummy for my monsters. Mummy, can I get my monsters? No, Tig, they're too noisy. Please. Mummy said the monsters were too noisy. They're just pictures, I said. Mummy said, OK. But no more roaring tonight in bed. I showed Willie my monsters. I didn't think Willie liked my monsters. No, Tig, I just don't like monsters at night. They wake me up. They wake us all up. Hmm. So, Tig, why don't we make your monsters just daytime monsters? Yeah! <laughs> there, one daytime monster. Now, at night, all the monsters need to go to bed. So we make the monster a nice comfy bed. <laughs> one comfy bed and one monster asleep. Night, night, monster. Sleep well. Night time came. 
and all the monsters were put to bed. Night, night monsters. Look. Night, night monsters. Good. There they are, all going to bed, all tucked up, ready to sleep. Mummy was about to sit on the bed when she nearly sat on Wooly. It gave her a surprise. What was that? <laughs> I'm a toy spider. You're a toy spider. Night, night, Mummy. Night, night, Wooly. That night we all slept happily. I like my daytime monsters. I love Wooly. I love Wooly and Wooly loves me. We've been together since we were wee.